So you are welcome to today's teaching. We want to look at sensory prophets. And because if you have followed me for some time, I've been telling you that there are three ways that prophets are normally raised or there are three kinds of prophets. Now, the first one is the auditory prophet, which means that normally or under normal circumstance, their strength in the prophetic is that they hear a lot. And so you might be here, you are listening to me. How your prophetic is, is that you hear a lot than you see or you sense. So normally those people are what we refer to as the auditory prophets. And then there are the visual prophets. And the visual prophets are those who see a lot. So they operate by saying, I see, I saw, I am seeing. Those are the visual prophets. And so the third one is which we want to focus on today. Another time we'll look at the other types of prophets. But for today, we want to look at the sensory prophets. Because there are most of you here that are listening to me. You sense things a lot. You might not hear it. You might not see it. But you sense it. Some way, somehow, you just sense something in you. It could be spirits around. It could be sickness. It could be bad news coming. It could be good news coming. For some of you, when good news is coming, there is a way your body reacts. Parts of your body reacts when there is good news coming. And for some of you, when there is bad news coming, there is a way a part of your body reacts. You are what we refer to as sensory prophets. There are certain people, they feel a sensation either on their ear, on their eye, on their hand, on their chest, their belly, their arm, different ways. So as a sensory prophet, God is going to use any part of your body to communicate things that are about to happen or that have happened in the realm of the spirit. And we refer to them as sensory prophets. I want to believe that you are here because you are a sensory prophet or you are a prophetic person. Now, on these three kinds of prophets, you can function in even all the three. If only you yield yourself to the teachings of the Spirit, if you yield yourself to laboring in the Spirit, and if you yield yourself to practice. So you can be a sensory prophet, you can be a a visual prophet and an auditory prophet at the same time in the same way you can be strong in both of them the auditory and then the visual or the auditory and then the sensory or the sensory and then the visual the sensory and then the visual so you can be any of them but today we want to focus on those who are strong in the sensory and i refer to them as the sensory prophets Now, normally, with the sensory prophets, if you are listening to me here, before we go deeper into the teaching, I just want you to begin to pray for yourself. In the next 30 seconds, the Father activates the sensory prophetic in me that let my senses be activated in the name of Jesus. And I pray for each and every one that has connected that may the sensory prophetic in you be activated, that may your senses begin to pick information from the realm of the spirit, may your senses begin to receive information from the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus. I pray, may the realm of the spirit begin to communicate deep mysteries unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, I want to go into a covenant with everyone that is listening that you want to share this teaching with somebody who is in the prophetic or someone who is into the ministry or someone who you just believe that they must walk in the prophetic or they must know about the prophetic I pray for you that may God honor you in the name of Jesus as you are taking a step to help someone may God honor you in the name of Jesus now normally as a sensory prophet you will pick up on the pain, the emotions, and burdens of people randomly. Which means that you can just be listening to a sermon. You could just be watching the news. You could just be praying. You could just be having a chat. You could just be doing anything randomly. And then you will be able to pick up on people's pain. 
their worries, their burdens randomly. And so sometimes you even call the person that you are sensing this thing about and ask the person, why are you in any problem? Are you worrying about anything? Because I sense worry and all of a sudden your name popped up in my spirit or your image popped up in my spirit or something about you just popped up in my spirit. And then I called you just to find out what's the and then you realize that then the person will just begin to tell you that I am going through this. This is the issue. Because the sensory prophets, they are able to pick up on people's emotions, pains, burdens, troubles, even good news, happiness. So anything that has got to do with their emotions and things, that is how they receive prophetic messages. And I pray that may your senses as a sensory prophet be stirred up in the name of Jesus. Now, for a lot of the sensory prophets, now what is going to happen to you is that a lot of times when the anointing comes upon you, then you begin to pick so many things. So you are in church, praying, leading prayer, worshipping. Then all of a sudden, you begin to sense some strong gladness, joy. Then all of a sudden, the car of someone you know, the person's car pops in your spirit. Or the person's child, or the person's business, or something related to the person pops up in your spirit. Then you must know that maybe there's some good news, or there's something that is happening to the person that is bringing joy or good news. So as a prophet, you begin to pray for the person. It's the same way that works for maybe pain, accident. It can, you see, so for instance, if you're a sensory prophet, you sense some form of pain, discomfort for someone. Then as a prophet, you must, if you have not watched our prophetic course, our teachings on the prophetic course, you must, because now the moment you begin to sense that, you must begin to ask the Holy Spirit, why am I sensing this thing about this person, about this country, about this business, about this education? Why am I sensing this? Then maybe the Holy Spirit will tell you, maybe she's about to deliver. She's having an issue. Pray for her. Do you get it? Or you sense some form of a pain in the leg. I want my feeling this. Say, this person or someone is about to have an accident and the leg would maybe be amputated or be cut. So you receive the information with your senses. Then you harness the information, work on the information. Why am I sensing this? And this is in the code of questions and in the code of watching. If you have not watched our teaching on the prophetic course, then you have to watch it quickly so that you understand what to do when you now receive this information. Because, like I tell you, as a prophet, it's not always that God will tell you verbatim everything as if he's dictating it to you. No, you would have to, because the prophet said that, for we see in part and we prophesy in part. That's what Paul says. So, you will see or you will sense some of the things in parts. But as you pray through them, as you harness them and you meditate on them, you see that the picture becomes clearer. Once has God spoken, but twice have I heard. So, God can review, speak something once. God can do something once. But your spirit can pick it twice. And then the information is being built. So, as a sensory prophet, when you sense these things, you go into prayer. You go into worship. Amen. Now, if you are a sensory prophet, you will be strong in the gift of discernment listen to me as a prophet if you are a sensory prophet one of the ways you know that you are a sensory prophet is that you will be very strong in the gift of discernment and so discernment will come to you easily as compared to the auditory and the visual prophets as a sensory prophet and discernment is your ability to know just to know this thing is not right this thing is right. So, as a sensory prophet, there is this gut feeling in you that the Holy Spirit in you would react to any spirit or anything that is around and it will let you discern the spirit behind that thing. So, you meet someone as a sensory prophet and then you just feel like, no, it, it, it just doesn't feel right. 
it, 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 it feels it, it feels like something is not right about this thing or or as a sensory prophet you will be strong in discernment in a sense that you can meet someone and you know that this person is the right person for whatever situation it is that that is the sign that so as a sensory prophet you will be strong in discernment in the next 15 seconds begin to pray father strengthen my discernment begin to lift up your voice and pray i want you to pray loud and I want you to cry out, Father, let my senses be activated. Listen, pray now in the next 15 seconds. Father, as your people are praying, I declare over their life, may their discernment be sharpened in the name of Jesus. May their discernment be sharp in the name of Jesus. Be sharp in discernment. I pray for you as you have connected. Be sharp in discernment. Be sharp in discernment. Be sharp in discernment, child of God. Be sharp in discernment. And this is for everyone. He said that for when the Spirit is poured, when Joel prophesied in Joel chapter 2, he said that my sons and daughters shall prophesy. If you are a son and you are a daughter of God, you must prophesy. Therefore, I speak over your life. May you prophesy in the name of Jesus. You will also prophesy before before something will happen. You will prophesy it in the name of Jesus. Before something bad will happen, you will see it in the name of Jesus. I pray, may your discernment be sharp in the name of Jesus. If you have not joined our Sunday prophetic prayers, you want to join. You want to share this thing, invite people to join on our Sunday prophetic prayers, 9 p.m. GMT. You want to join and as we are praying you will see the hand of the lord so you will be strong discerners if you're a sensory prophet you will be strong discerners your discernment will be on point so maybe you are listening to me here you know that your discernment is very strong it's a sign that you are a sensory prophet your your strength will be the sensory it doesn't mean that you will not operate in the visual and then in the auditory, but your strength would be in the sensory. Or you have, you know, if your strength are in two or in three, one of them will be the sensory. Now, with the sensory prophets, they can pick up the energy or atmosphere in any place or in any room. When they get to a place, the sensory prophets. They can pick the energy that is there. For instance, if there has been an argument in the place and they get there, they will be able to pick it up. If they get to a meeting and then there was a quarrel in the meeting place, when they get there, even though they were not there when that thing happened, they are they are able to pick up on the energy and the atmosphere in a place or in a room or in an atmosphere. They will be able to pick on healing. For instance, if God is about to release healing in a place, when they get there, as sensory prophets, they will be able to pick up on that energy that is about to happen. So the sensory prophets, your strength, and listen to me, this is how you develop yourself. Your strength is on the fact that you'll be able to pick up on the energies in places you'll be able to pick up on the atmosphere in places if there was a birthday party at a place as a sensory prophet when you get there because of the energy the mood there even though you are not there when that thing happened when you get there you'll be able to pick up on that atmosphere and so you must be very sensitive when you get to a place what happened to your atmosphere what happened to your how did you begin to feel how did it affect your emotions as a sensory prophet that's what you do when you get to a church what happened what did you begin to sense begin to feel when you go to that classroom when you go to that workplace did you feel a demonic energy you must begin to pray because god is already speaking to you as a prophet and you must know how to tap into that information and how to work on the information and receive what the holy spirit is trying to tell you so that's the sensory prophet. 
so as a sensory prophet you would always or normally feel or sense what god is about to do or what the devil is about to do as a sensory prophet you always feel it you always feel it now as a sensory prophet these people when the when the presence of god is in a place they are able to pick it quickly you or for instance you are in a place and then they start to worship him and all of a sudden you begin to feel goosebumps you begin to sense things around like all of a sudden you are able to pick that no the presence of god is here it's a sign that you are a sensory prophet one of the cardinal figures of the sensory prophet is jeremiah now those of you who have studied and are into theology you would know that we refer to jeremiah as a sensory prophet or his nickname in theological terms is the weeping prophet because a lot of times he showed emotions about prophetic images he would weep a lot about the things god will show him and the things you begin to discern and that's why jeremiah is the prophet who wrote the book of lamentations and lamentations is is a result of emotions you lament about something so you see that this guy this guy is a is a prophet but his strength is in the sensory prophet so he descends a lot his emotions are used by god a lot and some of you god has trained you has raised you as a sensory prophet but the enemy has messed up with your emotions so much he makes you go through things that messes up your emotions you go through challenges and so you don't know whether it is your own challenges or it is god communicating something to you sometimes or a lot of times let me tell you this as a as a prophet that teaches the prophetic that a lot of times it is god communicating something to you much more than what you are feeling so the devil tries to mess up with them gives them all kinds of issues with depression anxiety and those things so when you begin to sense these things it's a sign that you are called as a sensory prophet my god you are called as a sensory prophet but the enemy has also seen that and is also trying to worry you and try to delay you and trying to stop you from fulfilling your assignment and brought those things so you enter into prayer and you must get someone in the prophetic someone ahead of you who can help you through that journey and pray with you and so for those of you who want to join our prophetic school the details are in the description you will be able to get there and then once you purchase the prophetic course you will be drafted into our prophetic school and then we can train you more these teachings are just to guide you so now these people are able to discern the presence of god you are in a place and music starts playing all of a sudden you sense the presence of god or there is prayer all of a sudden you sense the presence of god or there's a preaching all of a sudden you sense the presence of god these are sensory prophets and if you are here you are a sensory prophet i pray may your giftings be stirred up in the name of jesus and so you want to make sure that every wednesday we have these prophetic teachings so you want to make sure that you are here with us you subscribe you are sharing to make sure that the word is going out the good news is going out and then god is glorified you are here also you want to be part of this ministry you want to pick the number and then you want to send us a whatsapp message and then you can be part of our ministry this is for those who really want to be part of this ministry man of god i want to be part of this ministry i want to be part of your whatsapp group send us a message and we'll add you to that group amen now these sensory prophets they are triggered by injustice so something bad happens to someone and all of a sudden there is something that is triggered in you that you you wish you could correct that thing and this was very evident in jesus who was a prophet himself that he could understand or he could bear witnesses with the 
infirmities of the people. That is why whenever Jesus would do a miracle, he would, he would heal the sick. Whatever. The Bible says that, and he had compassion over them, and then he healed the sick. So, as a sensory prophet, you will be triggered by a lot of injustice. Father, why is this person sick? Then just by that question, in the code of questions, I have taught you in the code of questions, in our prophetic codes, which you have to watch that one, that you said that, why is this person sick? Then you are meditating, discerning. Then as you were asking her questions, all of a sudden, God begins to tell you that she did this, she ate that, she drank this, somebody did this to her, and that is why this sickness is there. Or God would say, there is nothing spiritual behind it. It is in the genes, it is in a bloodline, or it is just a peculiar issue with her, but I want to heal her. And so go lay your hands, pray over her, and then she'll be healed. That's how you are developing that prophetic sense in you, that prophetic edge in you. The sensory prophets there. You will be triggered by injustice. There's an accident and then all of a sudden your prophetic senses are triggered. Something bad happens. It's triggered. Good news happens to someone but you just sense that no, it should have been better than that. You are triggered by that. That's how to train your prophetic edge. Sensory prophets. And I told you, you can be all the three. And you can be two. You can be one. But at least be one. So they are triggered by injustice that occur to other people. And normally with these things, the issue is that with the sensory prophets, they will feel as though it is them that the thing is happening to. And sometimes you would even wish that why would this thing not rather come to me so that these people can be free but normally the baseline of this is that you would feel the thing as if it was you because you see an issue and then maybe someone for some reason in school one disease or something accident or something and then they had to stop the school and then as you hear that or you see that that burden on the person is reflected on your spirit you f- it's as if you are the one going through that thing. i don't know if you have been there before or someone is sick and it's as if you are the one that you know is going through that thing it's a sign that you are a sensory prophet it's a sign that you're a sensory prophet. So, this thing can cut across. It could be locally, maybe in your country, your friends, your family, your church. Or it could be also worldwide, internationally. That's why there are sensory prophets that can give prophetic message at an international level. So, that's it. As a sensory prophet, don't limit yourself. Whether it is just around you, worldwide, or it is international. That's a sensory prophet. So, a sensory prophet is more likely to show emotional response to issues. So, you don't bash them too much or don't be too hard on yourself that why am i even crying about this issue why am i not able to sleep about this issue it's a sign that you are a sensory prophet why am i why am i feeling so down about this issue so they are likely to show emotional response to issues that this thing is not about me, but why is it that I'm having sleepless nights about it? Why is that this thing, I'm so sad about it, I am crying about it? Do you understand? So, this is a sign that you are an 
emotional or you are a sensory prophet that you know for you know for lack of a bit i am using this term so that you can understand what i'm communicating it doesn't necessarily mean that you know in the bible there's a sensory prophet no i just want you to understand how god will use you is that okay now this is how you will perfect yourself in this area you must be connected to intense prayer and prayer environments that is the only way that will sharpen this thing because when you are in a prayer environment the holy spirit invades your prayer life and invades even your physical body that's why jesus after prayer he was transfigured because prayer has a way of affecting even your physical body so as a sensory prophet to build yourself up so that you are you are sure that this you see it will build your discernment and it will it will help you to be able to pick up correctly that this is what is happening something is going on with someone here so that you know that no this is not this is just not me and you the, it will be difficult for you to to determine whether it is you or the holy spirit if if you are not a person of prayer so you must be connected to prayer when we are meeting on sundays to pray you must be connected to pray just to strengthen that ability in you when we are meeting on mondays to pray just to strengthen that ability in you you must be connected to prayer whenever we say that there is we are having a seven days fasting and prayers you must connect you are not only receiving answers for those prayers, but you are also building yourself. I hope, I hope you get what I'm saying. If you have questions, you can ask them in the comment section and then I will respond to them. So, sensory prophets. So that as you pray, you would receive so many impressions on your spirit. As a sensory prophet, it is, you know, it's wise that you know about different emotions so that when you are sensing them you know what exactly you are feeling so that you can know what someone is going through for instance you you must know about what is anxiety so that if someone is having an anxiety issue because you know about it once the holy spirit releases that impression upon you you know what it is that spirit of anxiety, I rebuke it in your life in the name of Jesus. You, you, you get it. So that's how you, you would help yourself. I wish I could teach everything, but it, it, it will not be possible. The video will be too long. But that's how you help yourself. Learn about emotions. And I'm a student of psychology, so and we study about emotions and all, all those things. Right, abnormal psychology and all those things. So you must study about these things, not necessarily go into you know very deep in it, but have an idea of all these things so that the moment the holy spirit communicates these things to you you know them be in a place of prayer you must also identify with people who operate like this or generally just identify serve people who are like this be part of a ministry of people that are like that are prophets that can teach you that can help you you know people that can teach you and help you with what you are going through you can go you can be with a prophet who is not helping you who is not teaching you because there's a grace to teach this thing and i always say this thing so be with someone who can help you who can train you who can teach you in these things so i've taught you three that can help you let me add the fourth one and this one you should have picked it up even by now study about jeremiah how he picks up prophetic images prophetic words how he wrote the the, the lamentations read about him that's a classical example so read about jeremiah and then study about him if you have questions you can just ask and then we'll respond to you now you will be attacked the most where you are gifted and like i've mentioned this already you'll be attacked the most way you are gifted so if you are if you are an auditory the next time i'll teach you about the auditory and then how they are affected and then the visual also now the the you know the sensory they'll be attacked like i've said already with sickness and all manner of things they'll be attacked now these people also have an issue with uncertainty is this my body is this that disease in the family is it just my mind they have a lot of issues because 
when you see something you are normally stronger in the prophetic like for those who see and those who hear it's a more sure way of picking up information that's spread than when you sense so for these people a lot of times they have an issue of contemplation and doubt when you see you have seen when you hear you have heard but when you sense it can be a little confusing so that's the that's how they are normally attacked or they struggle all right so you have a lot of issues but the way to correct it is prayer study of the word fellowshipping with the right kind of people who have the same grace like you and then connecting to people who you know can help you out and then study about jeremiah so you'll be attacked where you are gifted earlier forms of sicknesses emotional issues you know psychological issues now a lot of people are talking about mental health okay so that is how you would know how you are being attacked and what to do about it now people with emotional issues will come to you a lot as a sensory prophet people who 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 are having emotional issues because your assignment is also to help them identify that's why by sharing this you're also helping them to know what is happening to them so that they can build on it so god will also bring these kind of people to you if you're an auditory prophet god will bring younger prophets like this to you if you're a sensory prophet god will bring these kind of people to you do you understand and that would you know let you also know that okay i'm the sensory type people with emotional issues and you're supposed to because because that is your gift when you pray about it it will be corrected so people with emotional issues will come to you now if you are not careful these people are normally time wasters because when they don't want to grow they don't want to build on themselves they'll always be coming to you with these things and you must know how to you know break the lines because they'll waste your time now it is also likely that people who are sick having issues of sickness will also be connected to you if you find yourself that your 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 ministry or your life people who are whenever people are sick they, they call you i'm not feeling well. can you pray for me or you sense it yourself you call them there a lot of them will be connected to you if you have a ministry a lot of them will be connected to you is it that the healing ministry or because you're a sensory prophet you're, you work with your senses a lot so i don't want this video to be too long so we want to end here but we want to pray before we end just begin to pray father stir the prophetic in me stir the prophetic in me begin to lift up your voice pray wherever you are father stir the prophetic in them i pray for your people be stirred in the name of jesus be stirred may the prophetic oil be released over their life may the prophetic grace fall upon their life may the prophetic mantle fall upon their life in the name of jesus may their prophetic senses be sharpened as they lift up their voice and pray father release your holy spirit upon them let a fresh oil of the prophetic fall upon their life in the name of jesus we release a prophetic oil now 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 according to the prophecy of joel that the sons and daughters shall prophesy and i decree and i declare may they prophesy May their senses begin to receive. May their senses begin to receive. May their senses begin to receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Place your hand on your belly or on your chest. On your chest preferably. Father, I pray, even as they have done that, may their senses be stirred up. May their senses be stirred up. Let there be an activation of their prophetic calling. Of their prophetic calling wherever they must find themselves when you place them there in the name of jesus fresh fire let the oil fall upon your life let the oil be released upon you now in the name of jesus some of you begin to sense the anointing wherever you are yes in the name of jesus it's a stirred up that sensory activation now that gifting in you now stand up now your senses are yielding to the Holy Spirit now. Your senses are yielding to the Holy Spirit now. There's an anointing overflowing. There's an anointing being released. Your senses are yielding to the Holy Spirit now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now. Now. That fire. 
that anointing, that stirring. Now, Holy Ghost, there's a wind of the Holy Ghost blowing across you. You are sensing the anointing. You are sensing the spirit. You are sensing the presence now in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen, if you are blessed as one who is trained or learn about the prophetic, I teach you everything I can teach you. And so that's why I teach you that you must learn to sow into the prophetic. For instance, after listening to this, you want to connect to whatever you have heard. You do that with the seed. As whatever you can do, you do it. Because I want you to know everything that you can to connect to your your calling, your assignment. And I pray for you. Find your calling. Locate your calling in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you want to join our prophetic school, it's an opportunity to join the prophetic school. In the name of Jesus. And you'll be blessed. Amen. We have books that you can also purchase in our online store. The descriptions will be in the comment section. So you join and then you can purchase the books. We have two books now. White Dream, which is a prophetic book for all those in the prophetic. It will be a blessing to you. Then the next thing that you can buy is the latest book which is dunamis which is also good for you know the prophetic journey and your christian journey every child of god needs this you must know how to walk in power in jesus name amen so god bless you if you have questions just put it there i'll try and respond and we'll get to you have a wonderful day stay prayerful in jesus mighty name amen. so we hope that you've been blessed by this and this is a wonderful opportunity to give your life to Christ if you haven't done so. And so if you want to give your life to Christ, send us a message via the number on WhatsApp or send us a message on Facebook at Pastor Selim. If you want and are in need of prayers and counseling, it is on the same platforms. Let us know and we'll be there to pray for you. God bless you and see you next time.